Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Exposing the Narcissist. Thanks for clicking on this video. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Clarice and I focus on all things narcissism. Without any further delay, let's get started. In one of my recent videos, I have talked about how the covert narcissist judges everyone. They believe they are better and everyone else is below them. So it should be expected that they do look down on everyone around them. They judge others, but do not want to be judged themselves. It's the same with almost everything else. The narcissist wants to be the one to dish out, but can't handle it when the tables are turned. We know narcissists can have many different talents or skills, but they use them to aid in their evil desires instead of for the greater good. And today I want to look at how the covert narcissist uses humor. And when I say humor, I mean as in having the quality to be amusing or comical. How do they use the attribute? As usual, covert narcissists think they are so clever and deceptive. So they can use humor to accomplish three main things. But before I get into those three things, I know that all covert narcissists may not use all three, as some are more introverted than others, but they will be guilty of at least one. Covert narcissists can have award-winning smiles and infectious laughters, but their eyes tell a much darker story. And the reason I say this is because the first way that narcissists use humor is to win friends and influence people. Some covert narcissists can be loud, boisterous, or extroverted. They can be the life of the party. People gravitate towards them mainly because of their charm, but some can also be real entertaining and fun to be around. They know how to make people laugh and dare I say, even make them feel comfortable. Covert narcissists want to be worshipped and adored. So some have realized that being comical is a good way to secure supply. After all, the funny guy can't be the mean guy, right? They are usually great storytellers as the stories are usually exaggerated for emphasis. It's all about being the center of attention and that's why they don't like when other people are like this as well because it takes away from them being able to shine. After all, when someone is funny and entertaining, they are getting the full attention of their audience, all eyes on them and the narcissist loves this and wants it for themselves. Covert narcissists live to have people around them who they can feed off of. So they will use this quality to draw people in and gain their trust. They use their humor to charm and deceive people into thinking they are lighthearted and fun. But humor for these types of covert narcissists is just another way to gain the supply that they need and manipulate those around them. The second way a covert narcissist would use humor is a bit more destructive. This is where they use it to devalue their victims in public. They can say and do crude things under the banner of, oh, I was just playing, or it was just a joke. They would humiliate and embarrass their victims under this pretense of it being good fun. They act as if it's all innocent, but they know their agenda is to get others to laugh and make fun of their victim. They also know that what they are joking about is something that the victim is insecure about. 
but they pretend that it's all innocent and the victim is usually left broken and hurt that not only the narcissist has chosen to make fun about something they are insecure about, but that others joined in as well. The others may not know the true damage they are causing, but that is exactly what the narcissist wants. Because the covert narcissist's objective is only to embarrass and hurt their victim. And of course, when placed in a situation like this, most people would want to play along because everyone else is laughing. So it is natural for them the victim to act as if it's not a big deal either even though they are hurting inside but this type of response is what empowers the narcissist to do it again and again and again i had this done to me once before i knew that she was a narcissist and i pulled her aside privately and let her know basically that i wasn't happy and that I didn't think it was appropriate. And of course, her excuse is that she was just joking and I need to lighten up. She gave her half-assed apology, then ran back and let the others know that I complained, but she didn't do it again in front of my face. But she definitely continued belittling me behind my back. But the point is, nothing a narcissist does is ever innocent. There is always a hidden agenda, and it's usually not a good one. That's why if you know someone is a covert narcissist, do not entertain them in their gossip or in making fun of other people. The last way a covert narcissist uses humor is as a cover-up. They use it to excuse their behavior. Expect this even from those who are not usually the humorous type. Covert narcissists are not perfect and they do slip up and reveal their darker side to the unsuspecting very often, but they are always gauging our responses to them so if they realize they have just said something that could expose them or something not very favorable about someone else and the listening party does not agree or take to it nicely, they will quickly try and cover it up by saying that they were just joking. They then try to quickly change the conversation to something else. I have experienced narcissists do this many times and their excuse is that they were just being humorous and that they didn't mean it like that or that you may have misunderstood or how dare you think that they will actually mean it that way or better yet, that you don't have a sense of humor. They expect that once they say it's a joke, that nothing else should be said of the matter. Covert narcissists are very deceptive and cannot be trusted. Even humor they would use to accomplish their evil deeds or mask their evil behaviors. Their eyes are usually not connected with their smiles. Their eyes are usually cold, even lifeless, no matter how big the smile or loud the laughter. Everything is strategic and planned. Narcissists want to humiliate and devalue others by making them the butt of their jokes, but would seek to destroy you if you do it to them. But I want to hear from you. Can you relate to what I have spoken of today? For example, has a narcissist ever used humor to devalue you in public? I look forward to hearing about your thoughts and experiences. So please be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And to those who support my channel financially, I appreciate your contributions so much. Very soon, I'm hoping to get access to more pictures and videos that I can use in my videos 
and your contributions will help so much. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Please consider becoming a part of our community by subscribing and clicking that bell to turn on all notifications. Also, please be sure to like and share this video so that we can work together to expose the narcissist. Until next time, peace and blessings.